Okay, so I think um, the recording has already started. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's already mm -hmm. afternoon. So uh, we will have our week 11 and day three tutorial, which is uh, mainly about identifying key roles and creating job description. It will be a quick one since you have already done uh, a job description and interview questions. I think if you remembered, you have done this challenge. So we will try to, uh, this is just to emphasize uh, an, uh, an outline and to make sure that you're doing the work right. So we will uh, see a template in, uh, on how to identify key roles uh, before trying to employ uh, other persons. So you can see my screen, right? Okay, so yeah. Uh, if you have any question, uh, as you can just unmute yourself and talk. So let me start. This session will be uh, mainly concerned with uh, on how to identify key roles and creating the job description. It will be a quick one, as I have already said. So uh, we will have an introduction. So uh, in whatever organization, uh, if you want to employ persons, you need to define a key roles, uh, which ensures that the right people are in the right position so that you can have all the goals or objectives of that organization. So having uh, uh, identifying key roles, it helps to create a, a clear team structure, which aligns with both immediate project needs and lo long-term goals of the pro project or the organization. So uh, we will see benefits of well-defined roles. So if we have a well-defined roles of, or if uh, in an organization, if we can, if we are able to identify key roles, uh, then we will have optimized team performance, which will help us to ensure that the team members will understand uh, what, uh, for which tasks they are responsible for or their specific responsibilities. And then the next advantage will be uh, having efficient resource allocation. So if you if you can ad identify which role uh, uh, in which role you want to employ someone, you and if you can uh, specify the responsibility of that specific role, you can you it will help you to uh, to allocate your resources efficiently, uh, which will prevent overlap in duties and which will ma maximize the effectiveness of the structure or uh, productivity of that organization. And as a third advantage, we can also mention attracting the right talent, which will having a well-defined roles and job description, it will improve the recurrent process uh, in which it will also help you attract candidates who are best uh, suited for the for that specific position. So, like if you can uh, if you can identify the key roles and if you can have uh, if you can also uh, if you can um, specify the job description correctly, it means that you can act uh, you can attract the right talent for that specific role. So it will help it will help you to employs the right person at the right uh, position and for the right uh, expectation of that project or organization. So uh, identifying key roles, first we need to analyze business objectives before we identify key roles. So like first we need to identify what skills and expertise are required to meet the organization's strategy and operational goals. So like before identifying key roles, we need to First, analyze which skill is needed in that specific. Uh, if we are recruiting for project or for that organization, we need to understand the skill gaps that we need to fill in, and also <clears throat> what specific expertise that are required for that specific organization. So we can also re leverage AI for role identification. So using AI tools can be also an advantage to list critical roles based on company's product and market focus. So for as an example, for roles uh, for an for a tech startup, 
you can consider software engineering, product manager, data scientist, marketing specialist, and customer su support. So if you have a tech, if you want to recruit for a tech startup, uh, these are the, the suggested roles, but you can also customize it according to your needs or the skill, the skill gaps that you, you have in your specific organization. So uh, before crafting effective job description, there is also like some of the content, the some of the contents and also the template is already provided in the challenge document on how you can craft a job description, but the key components can be positioned which is uh, which also contains a title title of that specific position location if the person is working or remote or if you have uh, if it's if he or she is going to work on site and the specific location should be mentioned and then the job type so and then we need to also contain a responsibility so for example we can mention three to up to five or more primary tasks or duties that the employee should handle. And then at last, we can consider qualification. So uh, we need to specify uh, required education, skill, and experience that are necessary for the role. Of, so like, uh, if we know or if we are able to identify the key roles that are missing in our organization, uh, we can also specify the qualification based on that skill gaps that we need in our organization. So you make sure that make sure to include these key components before writing job description. Uh, this is uh, like a, this can be an example. So for example, for positions of their engineering, uh, we like the location is remote. In job type, we can say like full time or part time. So uh, for the responsibilities also we can list out the responsibilities for the specific position for example for this one as a software engineer uh, we are expecting to uh, the individual to develop test and maintain scalable ai driven software solutions for project management and uh, we can also like uh, there is almost five responsibilities over here you can uh, make it larger or you can customize the uh, the amount of the responsibilities over here based on the skill gap in the organization again and then at last we need to include the qualifications for that specific individual so for example for this case we are expecting the individual to have bachelor degree in computer science software engineering or related field and also three plus years of experience in the in software development with a focus on ai or machine learning and the list go, goes on so like uh, again, if you are able to identify the key roles, you will also be able to uh, to know what qualifications that you are expecting from the individuals. So it will help you to uh, to have uh, to craft your job description in a good way and in in, a, in the right way. If uh, the, like identifying the key role, it will help you to uh, list out, to have a good job description. This is just a sample that we have seen over here. And the next one is why having clear job description matters. And these are just a sample importance of having a, job, uh, a clear job description. So the first one would be it attracts the right talent by clearly defining what the company is looking for. For example, like if we have one company, one tech company which is looking for front-end developer so if there is an individual who is a front-end developer they can come and uh, apply because like the qualification or the skill gaps that we are needing uh, we are expecting in our organization and the qualification of that individual is uh, like alliance better so they can apply and if uh, if they are a backing developer or uh, expertise in another uh, qualification they like they will just skip out that because they are not the right person the right person for this position so it will help us to attract the right talent and also it will help us to set a clear expectation and responsibilities which will lead to better performance so like uh, if we can also have again uh, a clear job description it, it will help the individual to understand what are the clear expectations and responsibilities uh, which will help us 
to which will help our organization to be more productive and then which will also lead to a better performance so the uh, actually like we have a lot of uh, other advantage also but the third one will be it will align the workforce with the company goal and it will foster a focused and a motivated team so um, since for example like if we have uh, as i've already mentioned if we have a front-end developer uh, job description from our company and if someone is a front-end developer or so uh, if that individual is a front-end developer they can come and apply so uh, they will keep their motivation uh, we will expect that they will keep their motivation because we are uh, we think that they are the right talent for that specific uh, gaps that in our organization so it will help us to uh, to to have a motivated team and a clearly structured team in our organization so i think like this is uh, the thing but you can also use ChatGPT and other ai tools in order to generate a job description but uh like make sure to have uh, to make it more uh more of a human like to include a human touch or to make that specific to to make it more like human written so you need to analyze it after uh after getting the out the output from the tragedy or any ai tools that you are using so i think this is it for today so here are the resources you can also check check out them mm. for example like the first one it is uh, it's on how to create a job description so uh, it will help you to understand it's more of a detailed one so uh, here are elements of job description you can under if you want to know more in deep you can also check this uh, links that are provided over here and also you can uh, check other resources also this is uh, writing an effective job description so uh, what is job title job purpose and uh, like everything is over here so you can also analyze that and here is the last one uh, which is on hiring employee so this is also about writing a job description so it's uh, these resources it will help you to understand uh, each elements that are expected in the job description and to have a good uh, a good job description so this is it like if you have any question you can ask it's a short and quick one i hope you good you get to understand uh, and also like uh, i have seen the challenge document if you if you can see over here it's create job description so uh, there is a template example over here i have also showed uh, included it uh, as an example if you remember it's a software engineering role so that's uh, an example based on this template so <clears throat> here is also example prompt uh, on how to uh, on how to use AI tool to get a job description based on this specific template and also uh, we have also included um, two examples for marketing manager and product manager so you can view all of all of this one so uh, at last you need to like even though you're using AI tools you need to be able to customize it and analyze output so that it, it it's more of a human writer one so like you need to analyze it that's what i want to add do you guys have any question do we have any question i think like okay Kasa, you can continue uh thank you we come for the good presentation Maybe my question is, as uh, you told us, the challenge, the career challenge, we expect to prepare the job description is a role. I think you arbitrarily give an example in software engineering. 
Maybe shall we change the positions by ourselves or we have to do with that software engineering position? No, you can like, uh, you can change the software engineering position. It's just an example that I wanted to show you uh, on how you can use the, the specified templates in the challenge document and on, on how you can write a job description for any specific uh, job. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, Kasa. Do we have any other question? Okay, so if we don't have a... uh, actually, I have already dropped it on the chat box. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll make sure to share the slide uh, af uh, after the end of this session. Thank you for uh, for remembering me, Tarapa. Okay, so if we don't have any other question, uh, we will just end this session. Uh, have a good uh, day for all of you guys. Maybe like, Adesanami, do you have a question? Yes, uh, uh, th thank you very much for the presentation. I actually have raised my hand since, but it's like the network field. I okay. want to ask the the job description. Is, is, is it part of the week eleven and twelve? Yes, yes. Okay, so we'll be having the two weeks together, uh, eleven and twelve together. Yeah, actually, like we have two weeks, but uh, as you can see over here, uh, for example, this is a submission that's expected for this week on Friday, and it it should include task one and two. So it's you have you can also have a, a detailed explanation on how on what we expect on, from task one and from task two also. So uh, like task three, uh, task four is creating a job description. So I think like this uh, creating a job description it will go more for part uh, for the next week. But still, like you need to try, like you need to be able to understand this session. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there is there is there any help for the for the? Okay. You said we, we can make use of chat GPT. Is there any other help for the jobs description um, process? Yeah, you can use any AI tools, but we we have already also uh, provided a template over here. Okay. And also we have a, an example prompt, so you can use this and try it by using any AI to study uh any like copilot or whatever you want. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. I I, I hope the, 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 the this program ends with uh, week twelve or is to continue after week twelve? Yeah, it will continue for the next week also. And next week. Okay, as in uh, that will be week week thirteen. No, the next week is week 12, which is the okay. end of this program. Oh, the week 12 is the end of the program? Yeah. And All you right. guys will have your graduation soon. Oh, great, great. So we'll be having the graduation on, in week 12? Yeah. OK. okay. I, I, hope, I hope we shall be, for, we shall be we updated about the details on how to be graduated and uh, if there is any uh, virtual ceremony for that. Of course, we will have a graduation ceremony, and you will, you guys will have a certificate, I think. So uh, we'll, we will discuss the detail. We will share you the schedule and everything. Oh, great. great. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. OK, so I think we don't have any other question. So we will just wrap up the session. Uh, some thumbs up, maybe before we wrap up the session. Okay, so have a good day for all of you.